Hey you guys, so thank you for tuning in to another video. Um, as you can see down below, this video is gonna be all about Black Friday. So I wanted to come on here real quick to let you know this is a sponsored video. Today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. And if you're not familiar with them, they are a sustainable jewelry company. So gracious enough to reach out to me to sponsor this video. Of course, I was like, let's do it again, why not? Um, I love the company, I love what they stand for. They offer great, exceptional quality pieces, all at an affordable price. So you can get some great pieces like the ones I'm about to show you guys, starting at the low price of $39. All right, so one of the first pieces I got was one of the best sellers, and I can see why it's a best seller. I am absolutely in love with it. It is the Michelle set, which you guys can see right here. This piece is a stacked necklace, and I love this piece because it's so versatile, because it can be worn multiple ways. So this necklace comes in a set of three. So this is a necklace, this is a necklace, and this is a necklace. So the second piece that I was able to pick out is a bracelet. Now I haven't worn a bracelet in so long. I'm really like a watch kind of girl, but I was like, you know what? That would be super cute to be able to have a cute bracelet next to my gold watch because I love gold jewelry. Um, and this is what it looks like on my wrist and it's perfect. It fits my wrist perfectly. And it's really hard because I have really tiny wrist and it's always hard for me to like find something that fits without me having to get it Take, you know taken in and this fits perfectly it has their little logo on there i don't know if you guys can see it all right so those are some of the pieces in which i was sent over by anna luisa and as you can see these pieces are amazing i love them and they definitely will be a staple in my closet anna luisa is running an exclusive black friday sale right now all you have to do is click the link down below and that's going to take you right over to the website with the special savings for using that link so Stay tuned for the next part of the video for all my boutique owners. I am going to be giving you guys, not even boutique, all my business owners, I can say. I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on what you can do to make sure you have a successful Black Friday this Black year. Black Friday is right around the corner, you guys. We are literally getting towards the end of November. And like I said, that Black Friday is creeping up on us rather quickly. And I hope you guys are ready. I am in the process of getting myself and my business ready for Black Friday. So I just want to come on here and give you guys some tips and share some things that I learned from my previous Black Friday. Um, um, so stay tuned i hope you guys enjoy the video so this is my second black friday um so i'll share with you guys some things that i've learned some tips that i'm going to take part in myself um for this black friday from the experience that i learned from my very first black friday um my first black friday you know what it wasn't that bad it wasn't as bad as i thought i was definitely definitely nervous about black friday last year um because it was my first one i didn't know what to expect i didn't know if anybody was gonna buy from me i didn't know if i was just wasting my time i didn't know what to do i didn't know how i was gonna produce sales i didn't know how i was gonna do anything but you know what it turned out pretty good. It turned out better than I expected. Of course, I didn't even sell out. I wasn't one of those girls you've seen with like thousands of, you know, packages and thousands of orders and stuff like that. But for my very first business, for my very first Black Friday, I learned a lot. So I feel like after the fact, I was like, I could have did more to prep myself. So this year, I'm definitely more advanced. I am definitely more prepared for Black Friday. And of course, I just wanted to come on here and show you guys or share with you guys some of the things that I learned from my own previous experience that may help you getting prepped for your Black Friday. So the very first thing that I learned from Black Friday, uh, make sure that your inventory is prepared. So one of the, the most embarrassing things that has happened to me and my business is that um, somebody ordered something and I was so excited that they got the order. They were excited that they ordered and I didn't have the item in stock. That is like one of the most embarrassing things. And unfortunately it has not happened to me, not just one time. It has happened multiple times only due to my own fault because I have not, in the past, I have not kept up with my inventory like I should have. So that would be my number one tip is to definitely make sure that you are aware of what your inventory looks like, that you have all the proper supplies that you need for your Black Friday. Make sure you have shipping material. Make sure you have, um, if you have little bags to put your items in, make sure you have enough of those. If you have your inventory, make sure you know what your inventory is. So pretty much you want to make sure that your inventory matches your website and that your website matches your inventory. So tip number two is going to be test your website. You want to make sure that you have a functional website. The word, last thing you want is for people to go to your website anticipating on spending money because they've seen an email or they've seen an ad that you may have been running on something they've really been wanting and it's at a great price and they flock to your website only for your website not to work or only for them to get to your website and they can't find it. That's the last thing that you want because that will drive people away. Shopify does allow for you to test your website. The only downfall of that, I think they make you shut down your website for a moment while you test it. Um, I'm not sure, but I, I know you can test your website through Shopify. Um, but if not, even the case, if you 
pull your website up on your cell phone and test at like a shopper go all the way to the end proceed make sure everything is functional my next tip for you would be is to create a marketing plan what is your plan in regards to how you are going to get the traffic to your website this black friday so it's more than just putting a post on instagram and saying hey we're having a black friday sale this this and this 40 percent off whatever the case may be it's a lot more work than just posting an instagram post i will tell you Last year, I thought it was all about posting an Instagram post and boom, all these people were going to go to my website and buy out my website. It doesn't work like that at all. Now, don't get me wrong. I did have some people from my Instagram. I had a, you know, I had a lot of traffic for what I, for the work I did put in. So it's all about the work you put in. The more work you put in, of course, the better results you get. Um, but I did do a consistent Instagram post last year. It did give me some traffic, but it did not give me the traffic that in my head I thought I was going to get just because I had posted an Instagram post. I don't know. In my head, I thought that I was going to post this Instagram post and these thousands of people were going to flock to my website and I was going to have all these sales because I was having this amazing, cr a crazy Black Friday sale and I was going to sell out. That didn't happen. That did not happen at all. Now, don't get me wrong. I did have a few sales come to the website. I did have a lot of people check out the website, but there's so much more than posting an Instagram post because just because people see the post and they go to your website does not mean they're going to buy. So you have to have a plan to hype people up. You have to get them excited. You cannot wait to the morning of Black Friday or the night before and think that you're going to post this stuff and people are just going to flock to your website. You have to build up the anticipation of Black Friday. So that's why we have to have a plan now, like today. You should have a plan ready as to how you're going to attract people to your website and create sales. You know, there's so many different ways in which you can build up hype. Black Friday is all about the hype of um, what's going to happen. And just to be honest, even with myself as a consumer, I'm, I'm already excited. Like, okay, what am I going to buy? Who's putting out their ads? Like, there's certain things like I want to get. And I'm like, okay, I've not bought anything for the month of November just because of Black Friday. Because I'm like, I'm not going to spend my money on something when in a couple of weeks it's going to be on sale. So I'm going to wait till Black Friday to be able to go and buy. And you see these emails strolling in. I'm already seeing e people sending emails saying, you know, Black Friday this, Black Friday that. And that's how they're building up anticipation. And that's what we have to do as business owners as well. We have to get our customer excited about what's to come. So if you know you're going to have this amazing, crazy Black Friday sale, start letting your customers know now. Yes, now. Now, now, now. <laughs> Let them know now as to what's coming. Build up the hype. It's just like a, what, what can I compare this to? We have to build up the hype. I don't know. You guys know what I mean. Sending emails now. Start saying, you know, start putting the word Black Friday in people's heads. Start giving little sneak peeks of what may come. You want to get your customer excited about what's to come because this is a one-time crazy sale. This won't happen again. Don't miss out. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, the term FOMO, F-O-M-O. FOMO, fear of missing out. You kind of want to get your customer in that zone of don't miss out of what's to come. You don't want to miss what we're about to do. So definitely keep that in your mind, FOMO. Get your customers in that thought of fear of missing out of what you are bringing to the table this Black Friday. All right, so we've gotten to the point of we have this awesome marketing deal. Our website is working beautifully. It's running like we want it to run. Um, we've got people excited about coming to my website. The next thing is all about the sales. That's right, the sales. What sales are you having that's going to drive me to your website? So your sales have to make sense. You're probably like, what do you mean, Shrante? What do you mean? It's a sale. What? One, is your sale going to be beneficial to you and your business? Are you making any type of profit off of these sales? Or are you just simply putting something out there for the sake of having a Black Friday sale? If you are having a certain type of sale, are you making money? The whole point of Black Friday for us as business owners is to make money. Let's just be honest. That's what it is. It's not out here for me just to say, oh, I have a business. No, I'm in the game to make money. So are you making money based upon the sales that you are having? Just because so-and-so is running a sale saying that everything is $25 on their website for the day does not mean that it's a good sale for you. Your sales have to make sense for you and your business. 
So definitely make sure when you're creating your sales plan that you are profiting some way or one way out of another out of these sales. I wake up the morning of Black Friday and say, hey, I'm going to do a sale for 50% off my website because it's 50% off for your website might not make sense where it may make sense for Pretty Little Thing or Fashion Nova or whomever. That doesn't work for me and my business. It has to work for you and your business because you want to ultimately make money. The thing is, do your sales make sense is you have to have something exciting for your customer. The and I want to put it out the right way because I did say, you know, your sales have to make sense for you and your business. Also, it has to make, it has to be attractive to your customer. Make it, make it exciting for you and your customer. So uh, something I really learned that worked really well for me last year was putting a set price on a particular item on my website. And that gained so much attraction. Last year, I did all my boots. I had like thigh high boots and regular boots. Um, all my boots were $25 on my website. That gained so much attention. I had several purchases from people um, buying my boots at a set price opposed to saying, hey, my this boot is $27.50. I said, hey, you know what? All boots on my website, all the boots on my website you're gonna find on this website today are gonna be just $25. I put it at a set price. It's easier for the customer to, to take in. It's easier for them to understand. They don't have to worry about, is it gonna be you know, add-ons or anything? It's just a set price all boots $25 and it keeps things very simple it's very appealing to the customer um, so that was something that worked for me that I'm going to do again this year um, not necessarily boots for $25 but I am going to do a set price for a particular item because that just attracted my customers so much more than me putting them at a different price and saying oh they're 40% off for whatever reason whole number of set prices work wonderfully for at least for me and my business for Black Friday that we can give. Um, there's so many more tips out there that I can give in regards to what helps me and what I learned. But these are just some of the main ones that stood out to me was to maximize your sales. And what I mean by maximize your sales is take advantage of the opportunity. Not take advantage of your customer per se in, in, in that sense, but take advantage of the opportunity. What do you mean, Sharante? It's Black Friday. People are anticipating on spending money. People are ready to spend money. Me as a consumer, I am ready to spend money with these companies, but I want to see what they have to offer. So take advantage of the opportunity, meaning that when another tip that helps me with my business is saying, putting my shipping at a set price, instead of people just paying, oh, free shipping all day. No, 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 you have to earn that free shipping. What I mean is put, a, put an amount on your shipping saying, if you do free, if you do shipping over, or excuse me, if you spend so much money, I'm going to give you free shipping. What that means is that even within the midst of having all these wonderful sales that you're having, it makes your customer may have to do a little bit more, spend a little bit more because they don't want to pay for that shipping. That is a great opportunity to maximize the sale. So those are just some of the tips that I want to give you guys. I might make a part two, depending on if I have enough time to do so, because there's so many tips out there that I could give you guys from the things that I've learned from my previous Black Friday. Make sure you are prepared for your business this Black Friday. Again, this is the opportunity to make money. This is the opportunity to get rid of old inventory. The time of the year where people are ready to spend money and we as business owners have to make sure that we prepare ourselves for the people that may be attracted to our business and ready to spend their money with us this year. So I hope you all out. I hope you all have a successful and productive Black Friday this year. Have a successful and productive Black Friday this year. Definitely do not wait till the last minute. The time is now. You have to get busy now. Put in the work. I have my notebook and pen every night in which I am working and running numbers in my head and gaining so much more knowledge, watching videos, and make sure that I myself am prepared to get the maximum out of Black Friday. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.